ever sat in a nice comfortable chair in front of a big window and had the sun pour down on you and have the seat literally become the hot seat? Well, when window film is applied, the whole room stays in the comfort zone. To help clear up this issue, we have Spencer Robley from Johnson Window Films. How are you, Spencer? Doing great. Thanks for having me here. Thanks for joining us on Designing Spaces. Now, as I understand it, obviously, windows, they allow in light, but they also allow in that energy consumer heat. Absolutely. You know, people pick windows because they uh, allow the outside in. They brighten up the house, yeah. but they allow in unwanted heat and ultraviolet radiation, which can be harmful and cause fading over time. Now, what exactly does ultraviolet radiation do? Well, it, that's what causes the age of carpets and furniture. And we don't actually stop it, but we can hold it back and we can give uh, your home a greater lifetime in terms of things that might fade. How do window films actually reduce solar heat? Well, they do so in two ways. First of all, it reduces the greenhouse effect. You know that trapped heat that you get inside yeah, a house? Yeah. Especially if you've been around a house that has a lot of glass, you can really feel it. Secondly, it reduces hot spots, those areas that are just right by the window. Right. So people go and turn on the air conditioning system when in reality, the rest of the house is somewhat temperate. Right, so you end up with your back room super cool and that front room is still, you know, even with the air conditioning, is still a little sweltering. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Should we take a look at a few of these windows that are over here? Love to. All right, let's go take a look at a few of these windows that we have. Spencer, window films come in different constructions and actual shades, is that right? That's true. There are many different combinations of constructions that provide various colors, reflections, and each one brings something separate to the table to benefit the homeowner. So each of the different colors has a different function, or the different shades have different functions? Yes, they do. Um, many of the reflections can provide significant heat benefit. Others, just the slight or uh, slightly darker films, can provide a little bit of benefit and increase the view for the home. Now, I'm looking out these windows here, and I can hardly tell that there is any film on them at all. I mean, I, it's not dark. No, it's not. It's hard to believe that this window film is still rejecting a huge amount of the heat that's coming through, but it doesn't look that dark when you're on the inside. On the outside, it provides a uniform appearance which can add to the home's value. I have marathon video game matches with my friends, which usually ends up turning into some kind of bar brawl at the end of the evening. Now, are, are we going to be safer by having an actual film on our window when we go to throw someone through a plate glass window? Well, window film does uh, hold the glass together in the event of breakage. It prevents those shards from flying inside the house. Really? And holds the glass together like a safety net so it can protect you. Although it may not stop the window from breaking completely or people being able to hammer their way in through from the outside, it can delay them. So right. it's, a, it's a protective factor. So it won't necessarily stop the break-in, but it makes it the break-in easier for me to clean up after, after they've Absolutely. already come in and taken all of my Usually stuff. Usually it's all going to be in one piece. You can just <laughs> outside. That's convenient. I'm watching this guy put this stuff in, and I'm thinking to myself, well, I could do that. At the same time, I tried a soapbox racer and I forgot the wheels. So is this something that the average do-it-yourselfer would really be able to do? We don't really encourage it, no. The reason for that is that window film, they make it look easy, I'll tell you. It's a trade, and these guys are really good. But there's a lot of potential for getting contamination in the window film when it's being applied. Take me through the process that they actually have to go through. Well, it's pretty straightforward. First, they're going to scout out uh, the house and see what individual needs are uh, going to be met there. Talk to the homeowner. Then they're going to uh, do the prep work. They're going to clean these windows very, very finely. So if there's not any dust or any type of uh, contaminants on the windows, then they're going to go through the installation process, which is of cutting the film product to match each window specifically. <laughs> they're going to squeegee it on, and there's going to be some time for drying. How would you find a window film installer? We encourage uh, people to uh, find people that are licensed and bonded contractors. Okay. They have references they can provide, and many of these guys will carry around a portfolio of pictures of homes that they've done, maybe one in the neighborhood. Right. So that's the best way to get a recommendation. And where specifically would someone find Johnson Window Films? Well, we're on the World Wide Web at johnsonwindowfilms.com. If you go to that site, you're going to find everything you need to know about window film, including a list of qualified Johnson installers that you can choose from. Okay, very cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on Thanks Designing Spaces. It has been spectacular. I've learned a lot from you. So, basically, if you want the big view, but you don't want to pay for the high price of a hard-working air conditioner, and you still want privacy in your home and protection for all your belongings, you should really look into window films. I'm Justin T. Bowler for Designing Spaces. Bye.